It's now 28 minutes to nine. There have been very strict rules about what you can and can't do with your pension. The government wants to change that, and the Pension Reform Bill, which is published today, will make pensions much more flexible. The new rules will allow working people to use their pensions, rather like bank accounts, once they reach the age of 55. And every time they take money out, a quarter of it will be tax-free. The Treasury Minister, Priti Patel, joins us now from Westminster. Good morning. Good morning. How is this going to work? Well, this is about creating further choice on pensions and effectively people who have worked hard and saved all their lives are now free to choose what they do with their money and so they can now access as much or as little of their defined contribution pension as they want and also they now have the option to pass on their hard-earned pensions to their families tax-free. Okay, so just, but just get the ground rules. You've got to, there is there are limitations in that, as I understand it, you've got to be working at the age of 55, or, or at least you've got to have a, a minimum income, is that right, of £12,000? So there, there are, so this is about obviously um, people with a pension pot and who have been working, but it's this is actually about the freedom, the, the principle of choice and freedom. No, I understand that, but I'm just trying to get the rules. You say who have been working, do they have to be working at 55 in order to access their they, pension? They have to be working they, and they can then access their money as freely as they need to, rather rather than, as we've seen before, being forced to buy particular products. Um, and at the same time, of course, people can still actually, um, access new information from pension providers as to how they can go about getting the okay. best value for their but pensions. you've got to have an income of £12,000 at 55. I mean, if you don't, you cannot get to it. Well, this is, this is about creating the flexibility. So there'll be individuals with different pension pots who will then, w with the advice that they therefore take as well, can then make the right decision as to how they access their pension and then go on to spend their money accordingly. Okay, but the but so the it, it, that will depend on the individual circumstances. I'm just trying to just trying to get this, the, the ground. Yes, rules. I mean this this is all about depending upon their defined contribution pot, what they have, um, right. and and obviously mm. what, the number of years they've been working as well. Now th th this idea, when you first came out with it, that you didn't have to buy an annuity, uh, even the OECD's chief economist raised this concern that what you could have is that people run out of money in old age. The Pensions Institute, which is the UK Research Centre, described it as reckless. What well, is the counter-argument to that, that well, actually you're, you're not allowing people to be sensible? Well, actually, I think on the contrary, I mean, this is about giving individuals the choice. At the end of the day, it is their money as well. You know, people are responsible people who've saved throughout their lives and they're quite capable of making decisions for themselves with professional advice. So you don't, there is no fear, you are entirely relaxed. If somebody thinks, well, I'm, I'm going to gamble on the, the fact that I won't live terribly long, I'm going to blow a lo load of this now. I think actually, Sarah, this is about the principle of choice and freedom and about the fact that people know how to best, how best to spend their money. And it's not for government to dictate to individuals how they should spend their money. We treat people in a responsible way. People are in, individuals but responsible in the decisions that they have made. They've saved throughout their lives and they're quite capable of making decisions for themselves themselves based on professional advice and decisions for them really to make about their future and how they choose to spend their money. Mm. There is another consequence of, of it which was raised by Paul Johnston of the Institute for Fiscal Studies who said some people will be left worse off, let's be clear, because it will become more expensive to buy an annuity because only those who really think they're going to live a long time will be buying one and, and therefore a smaller pot makes it more expensive. Is that just a, a necessary consequence of this freedom? No, I think, you know, these the government's changes have the potential to help millions of pension savers to make better use of their funds. You know, they will go for advice, they will listen to the advice that's out there, and they will make the choices themselves. The point about these reforms, it's about being free to access their money accordingly as they want to, rather than being yeah, forced no, to I buy got particular products. Forgive me for interrupting, I've got it's that message. It's just whether one of the product. consequences is, will be that annuities overall will be more expensive. Well, I mean, this is about the marketplace now and individuals can choose which products they feel that are best for them with the right kind of advice. This is about creating choice in the marketplace rather than forcing individuals to buy particular products that may not be suitable for them. Pretty Patel, thank you very much. Thank you.